What's going on YouTube junkies? Welcome back to the house that never sleeps and welcome to Quick Clip Tips. To this day I've never heard anyone say that ten times fast in a row. Anyways, welcome back. Uh, a lot of questions been coming up about my uh, the videos I did on truss rods and adjusting them and always loosen them first even if it needs tightened, loosen it first just to make sure it's broke loose, you know, it's not uh, seized in there or anything bad. If it's seized in there, if it's been years since the truss rod had been adjusted or touched, and you put a wrench on there and try to tighten it, especially under string tension, you can snap that thing. I did it before, man, a lot of times, and I'm telling you from experience, loosen them first. And if you're going to tighten the truss rod, loosen it first, and loosen your strings before you tighten it up. But the question been coming up a lot about I mentioned in one of those truss rod videos about helping the truss rod and that uh, seemed to have bothered a lot of people didn't know what I meant by that. So I'm going to show you today what I mean by helping the truss rod. I've got an electric guitar neck here from a Series 10 guitar. Thanks Jesse. And uh, still haven't got the thing together but someday it'll probably happen. <laughs> but anyways, helping the truss rod. There's the truss rod access. Let's say Let's say that I need to put more back bow in this truss rod, okay? This way. Not relief. Back bow. It needs more. Let's say it, I've got a guitar here, electric, acoustic, it doesn't matter. And it needs more back bow in it, but the truss rod is really tight. Now, if you've never run onto this before, you work on enough guitars, you will. Eventually, you'll get a guitar and you'll need to tighten the truss rod up to... Uh, get lesser relief or whatever for whatever reason and it's going to be really 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 tight so you can you can avoid uh, maybe breaking that truss rod if you help the thing just a little bit so I'm going to move the camera over here closer and I'm going to show you how I go about doing that how I help the truss rod and it works like a dream you won't want to miss this I hope that's a good enough camera angle that's uh, really tight corners here so maybe it'll be good enough so you can see what's going on. Okay, we want to put back bow in this neck. But the truss rod is, ex we're going to assume it, it is extremely tight. Okay, so what I do is I put a couple of pieces of leather on both ends. And then I put a little block on each piece of leather. And you want to put those blocks as far, you know, as near, close to the ends of the fretboard or neck as you can. And then I take an old 2x4 like this, put right in the middle, and then take a clamp. Right in the very center of the neck, I want to, I need to get this 2x4 over a little bit. There we go. Try to put the clamp as near to the center of the neck as possible. And there you go. Now, I wish I could see the monitor on the camera. Okay, let's study this for a second. If you look at it, this clamp is applying pressure in the center of the back of the neck. That's forcing the center of the neck up, okay? It's forcing backward bow into the neck. Can you see and understand that? Okay? At the very same time now, let's say it was connected to a guitar and it was all in hole. <laughs> Not in a hole, mind you, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, we're forcing back bow, or, uh, yeah, back bow into the neck. That's going to make that truss rod a whole lot easier up here to turn because tightening it puts back bow in or takes neck relief out. And we're wanting the neck to go in this direction. See, I'm forcing the middle here upwards, forcing the ends here downward with the board and the leather to protect it. So by doing that now I can take a a wrench and uh, should make that, it does make that truss rod turn a whole lot, whole lot, whole lot easier. And I can't stress that enough. If, you're, if your truss, right, uh, truss rod is really tight, do this and guarantee it will make that rod turn much easier. It will be easier on the rod. It's a whole lot less chance of you snapping the rod, you know, 
just saves a big headache in the long run, believe me. I have to do this a lot. I have to do it a lot. And it has never failed. Hold on. Once you have your truss rod tight up to where you think you need it, then you can very gently remove this crap. And if everything goes as planned, the truss rod will, will hold the neck in that position. Uh, naturally, when you put strings on it, the stress from the strings is going to want to pull some relief back into it. But uh, anyways, that's the way I do that. If the truss is really, really tight and hard to turn, hard to tighten, you're afraid it's going to break, help it, man. Help it. Put an old board, a 2 by 4 a couple of blocks and leather, and a clamp in the center of it and uh, it'll make it much easier job for your truss rod and way lesser chance of snapping that puppy. So I hope that clears up the questions that I've been getting in the PMs on Facebook about that. That's what I meant by helping the truss rod and like I say I did this for years and it works. It makes an uh, enormous difference in uh, you know how tight the truss rod is. And it really eliminates a lot of problems of uh, maybe snapping the head off of it. You know, a lot of things can go wrong if that rod is hard to turn. It shouldn't be hard to turn, but a lot of cases they are. And that right there will help you uh, quite a lot, I think. Cheers to you. Quick click tips ten times fast. Say it. Do it. Later. See you on the next one. Cheers.